Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I apologize that I haven't posted videos in English for a while, but I promise that this one will be a day in the life vlog in English, so I hope you enjoy it. My favorite day of the week is definitely Saturday. I get so excited about this day that I normally wake up around 4.30 a.m. without an alarm. If you think I'm lying, please ask Anna and she'll tell you how crazy I am. I hear that as you get older, you wake up earlier, but if I wake up around 4.30 a.m. at the age of 27, I'm expecting to be awake around 1 a.m. by the age of 60. For me, waking up early on Saturday without an alarm is like waking up super early to see if you received a Christmas present from Santa. This happens to me every Saturday, so it must be that a kid still lives inside me or something. Anasan just woke up. It's 7.30 a.m. We are going to the gym. Our apartment has a small room with workout equipment downstairs. I was just there to support Anna and I did some easy stuff while she was doing a lot of upper body exercises. We came back from the gym and I was hungry so I decided to make a smoothie with a banana and frozen mango. I don't know if anybody cares but I wanted to put it out there just in case. This is my first pair of white sneakers that I own and it was my first time wearing these outside so I was quite excited about it. I feel that being excited about something is an important element of our lives and I would say the more things that get you excited daily, the more you feel energized about living your life. So thinking about what I will wear when I go out with Anna has become a great addition to my day-to-day -day living. At a local station, we came across this whiteboard with an illustration explaining that a local ordinance about not walking up or down the escalator had been put in place since October. Whoever drew on this whiteboard should immediately get a raise. That's the first thing that came to our minds here anyway. Wait, what, what time is it, Amazon? 10.30. 10.30 and people are already drinking. I love that. We decided to go to Starbucks and talk about our trip to the States in December for the wedding of Anna's best friend. It is super exciting but getting the itinerary sorted is always a challenging part with the limited amount of paid time off we get from work and so on. So it's important to talk to each other and come up with the best plan for both of us whenever we need to make a decision about something. It is so simple but really important in a relationship. Anna and I are considering to move uh, to a different place so we've been discussing that for a little bit. We are hoping to move out of our place maybe early next year if everything goes well. Then we went to book off and looked at some secondhand clothes and after that we went to this pasta place called Goemon for lunch. This place has set menus called men's set, which serves a bigger size pasta and ladies set, which serves a normal size pasta and a salad. I guess in our typical Japanese perspective, men tend to eat a lot and women tend to eat something healthy such as salad in this case, and that's why these set menus exist. However, I found it fascinating that at the bottom of these set menus, it said women can order men's set too and vice versa for ladies set. I mean if you write those statements I feel like it might be nicer to change the names to something else completely in my opinion. While I was thinking about the menu naming issue something way bigger to worry about came out which gave me an existential crisis. If you've been to Japan before, you must know that we slurp noodles such as ramen and udon noodles. But when it comes to foreign food like pasta, I was taught not to make sounds because they're not Japanese food. 
Now this restaurant provides you with chopsticks instead of a fork, making it pretty confusing like am I supposed to slurp because I need to use chopsticks or am I supposed not to slurp because I am eating pasta. I took this matter so seriously that I looked at a couple next to me to see how they were eating. It turned out that the man was slurping the pasta like there was no tomorrow and the woman was not slurping it at all, which did not help me understand what I should do. After all, your perception becomes your reality, as Moulton says from The Love is Blind Season 5. So I decided to go with my instinct and respect the pasta by trying not to slurp it. I'm pretty curious about this, so please let me know what you think is the right thing to do in this scenario in the comment section. This is really good. I was probably somewhere else when that song came out. Somewhere else in your own head? Yeah, I think so. Aww, yeah. That's sad. <laughs> that's sad. It is. talk about it? Oh, no, I'm okay, I guess. But thank you for teaching me. I will have a listen to it. It's called Irreplaceable by Beyonce. Like you, for me. That's nice. <laughs> Wait, okay, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For a minute, I thought it was replaceable. I was like, no, Whoa. no. Irreplaceable. Tell me how you really feel. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling the last time when we came here, I was wearing this as my top. You remember like for Jira's, yeah. You weren't. I, I was I, I think I know what oh, you were okay. wearing. Oh, okay, yeah. You were wearing just like a, the like navy blue t-shirt, like the Uniqlo t-shirt. Okay. But guys, I bought this one. Looks cool, right? Eh? <laughs> Well, it's 50% off at Bukov. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, I like it. Oh, almost there, almost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad that I was wearing something different. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, confirmed. I was wrong. Because Anna and I wake up quite early, we wind down early as well. So after eating lunch and hanging out for a bit, we came home and relaxed by watching Harry Potter. It was just a great day for me, thanks to Anasan. That is the end of the vlog today and thank you so much for watching this. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!